My name is uh, Pam Holberton. I'm a master's student here at the U of A. Um, I just finished my first year of coursework. Um, so for this project, I researched Wang Zhu's two portraits of Chi Bushu. So um, this is his from 1985 and from 1987. Yeah, so these portraits are really interesting um, because they were made in the 1980s. So at this time in uh, the Chinese like art historical moment, um, it was called the new wave because Chinese artists were looking to um, redefine Chinese culture and they were really looking to Western art historical traditions um, and appropriating Western styles. And so here this is like a huge contrast to that because Wang Zhu is painting the most famous traditional painter of the 20th century, Chi Bexie, in a very, very traditional um, literati inspired aesthetic with the very traditional brush and ink um, methodology. Um, yeah, so it's, I think that these portraits um, are characteristic of their time in that they are imbued with some political tension. And um, that can be inferenced um, when, you, when you consider the photographic reference that they're appropriating. So um, we've included in the label for these objects a photograph um, of Chi um, at his 93rd birthday celebration, uh, which was held at the Beijing Fine Art Academy, which is a government institution. Um, and he's kind of chummy and in a, a very amicable looking conversation with Xiao Enlai, who is the um, premier of the People's Republic of China. So a very high ranking communist government official. And the photograph itself is quite striking because we see, um, you know, it almost looks the like the embodiment of two opposing um, strains of thought. So Xiao Wenlei is wearing a you know a modern tailored suit. He's you know the forward-looking communist, whereas Chi Bai Shou, like we see in the paintings here, is wearing old traditional scholarly robes and a scholarly hat. So he's kind of the embodiment of that traditional um, literati. Uh, elitist class and that imperial past that the government was actively trying to stamp out of China. So the fact that the two are quite close in the, in the photograph is a bit puzzling. So what Wang Zhu is doing with these portraits is he seems to be um, repositioning Chi Bexie into um, a, a quite a different space. So he's stripping the photograph of its political context and content. So instead of being at a government institution, the paintings show Chibesha just an unpainted background. And he replaces um, the figure of Xiao Lei with the calligraphic inscriptions, which are in the upper right, uh, left-hand corners of the work. So these poems um, are it's actually the same poem. It's called the Zi Chao Poem, which was written by Chibesha. And it actually has very strong kind of anti-state anti-governmental tone to it. It's quite critical. Um, so I posit that these images are kind of um, questioning the paradoxical relationship between Qi and the state, and um, that he's asserting a political function for traditional art in the context of the 1980s. So it seems to be that they're kind of arguing that artists in the 1980s, if they want to kind of protest socialist realism, the communist state, and redefine Chinese culture, that they don't have to look to the West and Western artistic forms, but they can in fact look in on their own um, art historical traditions and explore how they might function politically 